Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel Cisco Config. My name is Abdul Basit and I am Cisco CCNA CCNP Certified Engineer. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect a Cisco router and switch to the home ISP router and how to access internet using this network. So let's start it. Here you can see this is Cisco router 2800 series that I am going to use in this video. This is the power input. We connect our electric power here, the AC power and this is the button we can switch on and switch off the router from here on the other side there's a couple of rg45 port the top one is written console and the down one is auxiliary we log in the switch through this console port via console cable and we use network emulator software like putty to configure this router the down one is auxiliary this port we use to network or radius router for remote access next to it there's a couple of usb port we can connect our USB flash drive here to upgrade the software of this router or take the backup of iOS file or many other things. Next to this, this is compact flash card. This is the flash memory of the router. Configuration of the router, save in this memory card. We can upgrade and downgrade as per our requirement. We can take it out by this button. There's one small button. Just press it. And here is it. The memory card come out. You can see this is SanDisk 256 MB card. Now I want to put it back. This button I have to press first. I have to lock this button first. I will put this card back and press it. That's it. This is the front interface. Now I'll show you the back interface of the Cisco router. This is the back interface of this router. Here you can see there's a couple of RJ45 port. One port we are going to connect to the, our WAN service or the ISP provider. And the second port we will connect to our switch side. As per the network topology, I am going to connect fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port to my WAN service or my ISP provider. And fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port, I am going to connect my Cisco router 3550. Next, we have some analog card. This is RJ11 port and it will connect to our PST network. Now, I am going to show you our switch that I am going to use in this video. This is our switch that I am going to use in this video. Here you can see. It is Cisco 3550 switch and it is 48 port switch. These all are FE port, mean fast Ethernet port. So we can transfer maximum 100 MB in this port. Here you can see this is optical interface. We connect our SFP. This is the SFP card to make a optical network. I'm going to connect my fast Ethernet 0 slash 48 port to the router and I will create multiple VLAN in this switch. I will give some interface to VLAN 10 some interface to VLAN 20 and some to VLAN 30. This is the front side of Cisco switch. Now I'm going to show you the back side. The back side of this Cisco switch is very simple. This is the power input, the AC power connect here. This is for our DC power or UPS power or backup power. And this is the console port. This is RJ45 port. The console cable connected here and we can log in this switch via console cable and we can configure this switch as per our network requirement. This is my network topology diagram. Here you can see I have a home router from my ISP service provider and I have a Cisco 2800 series router and a 3550 series switch. Pretty old but it will work in this video. I am going to connect my ISP router LAN port to my Cisco 2800 series router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port and fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port from my router will connect to Cisco switch 3550 fast Ethernet 0 slash 48 port. I will create VLAN 10, 20 and 30 in this video and will assign couple of port to each VLAN. At the end, I will connect laptop to each VLAN and they will get internet service from this switch. This is the network at my home I created for this tutorial. Here you can see this is the last one is Cisco 2800 series router on the top of that. This is Cisco 3550 switch, the 48 port switch. Here I have an access point that I'm going to connect to this Cisco switch very soon. And this is the internet service from my ISP provider. It, this device is called the ONT. I will show you the back side of this device. Here you can see this device has four LAN ports, RG45, two telephone lines and the USB port and power input. The yellow one, this is the fiber optic cable. Internet is coming from this yellow cable. As per network topology, I'm going to connect my ISP router to my Cisco 2800 series router for Ethernet 0 slash 0 port and for Ethernet 0 slash 1 port from my router is going to connect my Cisco switch 
fast ethernet 0 slash 48 port here you can see i have a cat 6 cable and this is rj45 end the one end of this cable going to connect this isp router lan port this is the back side of my isp router i connect one cat 6 cable to isp lan port and the second end of this cable i'm going to connect my router fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port here you can see this is the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port so i'm going to connect second end of the cable here now i will take another cat 6 cable here i have another cat 6 cable the one end of the cable going to connect fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port of the router here you can see and the second end of this cable is going to connect my switch 3550 0 slash 48 port and here you can see the light indication of port 48 is green this is my ip network scheme that i'm going to use in this video tutorial here you can see my isp router have the ip address 192.168.1.1 and i'm going to give the ip address from the same subnet to my isp router to my fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port i will give 192.168.1.2 now i have to configure my fast ethernet 0 slash 1 port so i will give the ip address from the totally different network on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 i will give 192.168.100.1 on my router side and i will give 192.168.100.2 on my switch side on fast ethernet 0 slash 48 port also i will create three ip pool for my vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 in my switch so end devices will get the ip address from this subnet automatically and they will get the internet service from this subnet now we are going to start to configure our cisco router and cisco switch to log in cisco router and switch we need a console cable i hope so you people know this this is console cable it have a one end rj45 end and the second end is usb port i'm going to connect console cable rj45 end to cisco router console port first like this and the second usb end i'm going to connect to my laptop usb port i will do this configuration in the steps first i'm configure this cisco router partially and after that i will configure cisco switch completely and i will create the vlans and i make a dhcp pool after that i will log into cisco router again and i will allow or permit that subnet in cisco router access list to go to internet now i connect my laptop to cisco router via console cable to log in the cisco router from my laptop i need network emulator software in this video i'm using software party you can download it easily from internet just open your browser and type putty.org it will take you to putty website then you have to click here go a little bit down and here you will find the exe file in 64 bit and 32 bit you can download any file as per your window or your pc for my case i will download putty.exe 64 bit just click it and the download will start automatically so here is the putty software i open it to log in this cisco router via console cable we need to select a serial option serial port now here we have to give serial line number or serial port number to check what's your laptop serial line or port number you have to go here and type here device manager open it here you will see a one option ports com and lpt open it and here you can see your serial port number usb serial port com3 so we have to type com3 here and click on open press couple of enter here is it now we log in our cisco router successfully first command we will type here it's called enable we go to enable mode always configure any new device make sure this device is factory resetted or factory setting i want to check this router is on factory setting or no i will type a command show ip root and here you can see there's some static root is there so it's mean this device is not on factory default setting some old configuration still there also you can see the host name of the device is network router 
so it show me this is not on factory setting to factory reset this device I need to type a command write erase I will type only ERA I will not complete I will press the tab button and it will complete command automatically now press enter confirm you want to erase I say yes press enter again now erasing is completed it delete the old configuration but it will not affect until we not reboot to reboot Cisco router I will type command reload R E L O and I press tab it will complete automatically I will press enter he say you want to continue reload I press enter again now this router is going to restart it will take couple of minutes I'm going to fast forward this video and I will back when the reboot is completed Now here is it our device reboot is completed and the always the first command we put enable here you can see the device host name is changed to router before it is network router so it show me the old configurations are gone the first thing we have to go privilege mode for that we have to type the command config t press enter now we inside the privilege mode I want to change the host name of this router from router to something that I remember or where I use for example I put host name home router like I will use this at my home so I will type home router enter and immediately it will take the effect it will change from router it will change from router to home router now you know the topology diagram as per topology diagram the interface was ethernet 0 slash 0 going to connect my Huawei router at my home so I will log into interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 first and I will assign the IP for that I will go interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 enter now I will give the IP address to this interface for that I will type the command IP address I want to give the IP from the same subnet to my Huawei router here you can see it is 192.1c1.1 so on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 I will give IP address 192.168.1.2 and the same subnet 255.255.255.0 enter and this interface is connected to my WAN or my home router so I will type the command IP net outside so here the net will happen outside enter now I will type command exit so the configuration to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is completed now the second interface is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 this interface is going to connect my Cisco switch fast ethernet 0 slash 48 port now I'm going to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 I will type command interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and type enter now I need to assign the IP address to this interface also but from a totally different network as per IP scheme you can see I will assign 192.168.100.1 to this interface 192.168.100.1 subnet 255.255.255.0 and enter and here the netting will happen inside so I will type command IP net inside press enter and no shutdown so I will not shut down this port to make sure this port is enabled I type exit I press enter a couple of enter now I need to give a static route I want to forward all traffic to the gateway to my Huawei router or ISP router to check the IP address of my ISP router I connect my laptop to ISP router and I will see the gateway there right now it is connected 
to Wi-Fi. So I will go to Wi-Fi properties. Go to Wi-Fi or LAN cable. How you connect it depend. Double click. And here you can see the gateway of your ISP router 192.168.1.1. Close. I need to route all traffic to this gateway. So I will use a command IP route. 0.0.0.0 .0 like any IP address and from any subnet 0.0.0.0 the subnet and I will give the gateway 192.168.1.1 this is my ISP device IP press enter now to check my IP route I will use command show IP route Ah, okay, it will not work because we in privilege mode. If you want to use show command in privilege mode, we need to type do in start of the command and then we will type show command anything show IP route enter and here is it. Here you can see the static route. It will go to 1.1.1 all IP address go there and we give interface 192.1.2 and a second interface we create on fastn 0 slash 1 is 192.168.100.1 we configure on our fastn 0 slash 1 port i will go exit now i like to ping my gateway i will type the command ping 192.168.1 as per the ip scheme here you can see the gateway is 1.1 and we successfully able to ping the gateway Till now I configure the two interface and I assign the IP address to both interface. I can check with the command show IP interface brief and enter. So here you can see I have an interface fast than 0 slash 0 and the IP address is 1.2 and the status is up and protocol up. And the second interface is fast than 0 slash 1. I give the IP address 100.1 and state is up and protocol also up now i need to give the dns server so i don't have a dns server so i give the google dns server for that i will go to the privilege mode first and now i will type the command ip name server and the google dns server is 8.8.8.8 this is the primary server and the secondary server is 4.2.2.2 press enter and exit till now we configure the both interface in this router and we give the static route also toward our isp router and we configure the dns server also now i try to ping some website for example i will go to ping bbc.com yes successfully we can ping i can go to ping facebook.com so it's a proof the internet is working on my router or till my router now i want to connect the switch to this router and i have to configure the switch also after that i will configure some static routing in the router again and i will create access list and i will permit some subnet as per switch configuration or switch vlan or that traffic will be forwarded to internet from this router now this console cable i am going to remove from router and i will connect to the cisco 3550 switch so now i connect my console cable to console port of my switch 3550 first command i will go to enable i like to make sure this switch is on factory setting or there should be no old configuration so to check that i will type a command show ip interface brief so i will see on any interface yes here i can see the inter vlan one have some ip addresses also i can use a command show vlan i will enter so i use a command show vlan and here i can see the multiple vlan exists so it means this switch is already configured to delete the old configuration i will use a command erase startup config and i press enter you want me to confirm press and confirm again so this command erase existing configuration except the vlan because the vlan is not stored in startup config file to delete the vlan i use a command delete 
flash vlan dot dat so vlan information store in vlan dot dat file in the flash memory so I use a command delete flash vlan dot dat press enter you want to delete press enter again so you want to confirm again press yes so now our configuration and the vlan information deleted I am going to reload this switch you say you modify no just reload confirm the reload will take couple of minutes like two to three minutes I am going to fast forward this video and when the complete the restart cycle I will come again after that we will start the configure this switch as per our network topology okay now switch complete the reload and it's restarted now first command always you know we put enable now I want to see the old configuration still exist or gone I will use the command show IP interface brief and here you see before we have some couple of VLAN and they have IP addresses but that is gone now so it's mean that delete the old configuration command is show VLAN before there are some VLANs like 100, 200 and that is gone. Now there is only one VLAN, the default VLAN. So we make sure the switch is on factory setting now. So we are going to start configure the switch. Now we have to go to privilege mode. I will use the command config t. So we log into the privilege mode. The first thing we will give the host name to the switch, home switch. I will use at my home so I know this so here you see it will take immediate effect before the name is switch and now it's home switch host name is changed so this is the IP scheme diagram here you can see my 3550 switch interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 48 I have to assign the IP address from the same subnet as I assign on the router side and that is 192.168.100.2 now I will log in to this interface I will use a command interface fast ethernet 0 slash 48 now we have to make this port as a layer 3 port so I can assign the IP address so we need to use the command no switch port press tab it will complete automatically press enter now this is layer 3 port I can assign the IP address so I will type command IP address 192.168.100.2 and subnet is 255.255.255 255.0 enter plus I have to put a command no shutdown if this port is disabled and type exit and now next thing is I have to forward all traffic to the router port that connected to this 0 slash 48 port so I use a command IP root I don't want to forward any specific subnet I want to forward all traffic so I will type 0.0.0.0 any IP and all subnet and the router IP of fast 0 slash 1 port is 192 100.1 so I will forward all traffic from this switch to 100.1 IP address press enter now if I try to ping the router PING ping 192.168 dot hundred first I try to reach the router for Ethernet 0 slash 1 that is 100 dot 1 press enter oh we in the privilege mode we have to type do in the start to this command press enter yes so from this switch we can ping the router for Ethernet 0 slash 1 port now the next step is can we ping the internet router or no if I want to check that is 192.100.1 no because we still not allow this router to route the traffic or the route this subnet 192.100.1 to the internet that part will do later now I need to create a multiple VLAN in the switch here you can see the network diagram I have multiple VLAN VLAN 10 VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 so I need to create this VLAN so for that I use the command VLAN first VLAN I will create VLAN 10 
and I can give the name of this VLAN is PC. So I will connect all PC to this port and exit. So the VLAN 10 is created. Now next VLAN 20 and I am going to connect my Wi-Fi here. So I will give the name for example Wi-Fi exit third VLAN. I will create VLAN 30 and the name i can give a printer i will connect the printer here that's it exit and exit again now we come out from the privilege mode i want to see this vlans are created or no i will use the command show vlan so here is it i use a command show vlan and here you can see there's a vlan one that is default vlan or native vlan we called next i create a three vlan vlan 10 20 and 30 that is created with the specific name what i give pc wi-fi and printer but you can notice here all interface still under vlan 1 or native vlan and these vlan don't have any interface now we want to assign the interface to this vlan for that we have to go to privilege mode i will type command config t press enter now i will assign the interface one by one or i can assign the interface in the range command also so i will use the range command so i will type interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 minus 16 so first 16 port will take the effect of this configuration the first thing this switch port should be accessed so i will use command switch port mode access next i will assign this access port to specific vlan so i will use command switch port access vlan so i give this first 16 port to vlan 10 and will go exit next to vlan 20 i will use command interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 17 till 32 again i need to make this switch port as access so i will use command switch port mode access enter and switch port access vlan 20 exit and the third vlan is vlan 30 interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 33 till 42 enter again i need to make this port as access port so for that i use command switch port mode access now i will assign this access port to vlan 30 that's it exit again from privilege mode till now i create the vlan and i assign the interfaces also to this vlan to check that i will use a command show vlan enter now you can see the default vlan or native vlan have a very less interfaces because we will take it and some interface we assign to vlan 10 some interface we assign to vlan 20 and some interface we send to vlan 30 now we need to assign the ip address to each vlan to communicate to assign the ip address to the vlan we again we have to go to privilege mode config t interface vlan 10 as per the ip scheme here you can see the vlan 10 i assign the ip address 10.10.10.1 so i put a command ip address 10.10.10.1 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown exit next interface vlan 20 i will assign the ip address as per the ip scheme 10.10.20.1 and the subnet 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown exit next is vlan 30 so i will use a command interface vlan 30 and i will assign the ip address 10.10.30.1 and the subnet is 255.255.255.0 enter and now share exit now i will exit from privilege mode i want to see the interfaces so i use a command show ip interface brief enter 
so here you can see your all physical or virtual interface this is the vlan vlan 1 vlan 10 vlan 20 and 30 and each vlan vlan 10 we assign the ip address 10.10.1 vlan 20 we assign 10.10.20.1 and vlan 30 we assign 10.10.30.1 status of the VLANs are up but protocol is down because still we did not connect any device to these VLAN and we have interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 48 also we assign the 192.16.100.2 and here you can see this is a switch port the status is up and protocol also up because this interface already connected to my router fast ethernet 0 slash 1 port but to enable the intra vlan routing we need to use a command ip routing privilege mode first i will use command config t and i will type here ip routing that's it this is the magical command that allow you to intercommunicate between the vlan on the same switch from vlan 10 to 20 and 20 to 30 without a router now we have to create a dhcp pool for each vlan when i connect the pc any port in vlan 10 or vlan 20 or vlan 30 so they will get the ip address from that dhcp pool automatically so for that i use a command ip dhcp pool now we have to give the name i put a question mark here you can see we have to give the name of the pool we can type anything like this pool for my server or my printer or wi-fi for me i will give a vlan number so i know this is for vlan 10 or vlan 20 or vlan 30 for example i will write 10 so this pool is for vlan 10 enter to create a dhcp pool the first command is network we have to define the network I will write network 10.10.10.0 and subnet is 255.255.255.0 the full subnet second I need to assign the gateway or the default root of this network only so for that the command is default root I will give 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 the first IP address is the default route or the gateway now i need to give a dns server i don't have our own or private server but i can use the google server for that i will use the command dns server the google server is 8.8.8.8 .8 space 4.2.2.2 the first one is primary server and the second one is the secondary server enter and that's it exit same thing i have to do for vlan 20 and vlan 30 also so I use a command IP DHCP pool for VLAN 20 I use the name 20 I need to define the network the network is 10.10.20.0 .10 and the subnet 255, 255 255 I will assign the full subnet and default gateway is 10.10.20.1 .10 and DNS server is the Google server 8.8.8.8 secondary .8 .8 .8 .8. server is 4.2 2.2.2 enter that's it so second dhcp pool created now i will create a third pool for that i will use command ip dhcp pool 30 like for win and 30 and i have to define the network 10.10.30.0 255 is the full subnet and the default route is 10.10.30 30.1 this is the gateway default route dns server is same google server enter and exit exit again from problema till now you know we configure our fast and 0 slash 48 port and we assign the ip address accordingly 192.168.100.2 also we create multiple vlan 10 20 and 30 and we assign the ip address to each vlan plus we assign some interfaces to each vlan also we create dhcp pool for each vlan when we connect our end device the laptop or pc to any interface of the switch it will get the ip address automatically from dhcp pool now we go to com put a command show run so we see the configuration in our switch here you can see we create a dhcp pool what is the network default route and dns over plus here you can see the interface 0 slash 1 this is belong to vlan 10 
so as per the IP scheme you can see we configure our interface for Ethernet 048 and we create the VLAN 10, 20 and 30 and we assign the IP address to each VLAN and we assign the interfaces to each VLAN also we create the DHCP pool for VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 so switch side configuration is finished now I connect my console cable to Cisco router First, I need to put on enable command. I go to enable mode. Now, I will go to the config tree. What I have to do in Cisco router now, I have to give the static route as per my IP scheme. You, for that, I will write a command IP route 10.10.10.0. This is VLAN 10 subnet. And it will come from 192. Sorry, dot. 168.100.2 my switch side for 0 slash 48 port i will press the upper arrow so same command will come only i have to change the network ip 10.20.0 and subnet and the default route will remain same and again i press the up arrow and 30.0 and that's it that static route is complete i can check this from the command show ip root so here you can see the static route that I put 10.10.10, 10, 20 and 30 via 100.2 IP. Okay, now we go to configuration mode and I have to create a access list. For that I use a command IP access list standard. It should be standard list and any word or any name I can give this list that I can remember. For example, I say this is the permit list. I permit this network or you, I can say my local network or anything. For example, I will give the number 1 for this list. I will write permit 192.168.100.1 and I press the question mark. It will say type the wild card. Wild card is opposite to subnet. Subnet we write 255.255.255.0, but here we type 0.0.0.255. So full network of 100.1 is permit. Second, I need to give permission to the VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30 also. 10.10.10.0.0.0.0.255. Enter. Now I press up arrow only. And I can change only the network IP 10.10.20.0 and 30.0. That's it. Now I create access list. That name is 1 and exit now. I need to allow this all traffic to go to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. For that, the command is IP net inside. And I have to give the source that list 1 I create or you can give the name what you give the success list i give the name one so i put one here and it will go to interface fast ethernet zero slash zero interface of the router overload and that's it now my all subnet can communicate to each other and they can go to the internet also exit the most important thing is to save this configuration in the router and in the switch side. For that, I use a command copy running config space startup config and enter. Okay, now my configuration save in the router. Now I want to save this configuration in my switch also. Now I'm going to remove this console cable from my router and I will connect to my switch console port here is it now i'm in my switch i will go to enable first i want to save the configuration my switch also i will type copy running config startup config and enter finish now we complete our configuration and we save it in our switch and the router successfully we complete all configuration step by step in Cisco router and switch. Now it's time to test it. Here is my testing laptop. I put my laptop here. I'm going to connect this laptop in VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 in Cisco 3550 switch. And I will get the IP from the DHCP pool of each VLAN. After that, I will try to browse the internet and I will check internet is working or no. On the back side, you can see this is my ISP router. 
it is connected to my Cisco router 2800 series and Cisco router fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port connect to my Cisco switch FE 0 slash 48 port. Now I bring this CAT6 cable one end I'm going to connect this LAN card this external LAN card because this PC don't have built-in LAN card second end I'm going to connect in VLAN 10 anyone here I connect on port 14 now I go to my laptop LAN card and I will check I will get the IP from VLAN 10 or no yes here you can see I got the IP 10.10.10.2 so it's mean my DHCP pool is okay my configuration is okay and it give me the IP from the DHCP pool now I try to browse some internet I go to my browser I go to YouTube I go to Facebook I go to bbc.com internet is working very fine from the VLAN 10 from this switch now I'm going to connect this cable VLAN 30 here is it now I'm going to check in my laptop LAN card the IP should be changed it should be from VLAN 30 I disable it and enable again we'll wait a couple of seconds yes now IP is changed in this PC it's 10.10.30.2 it's mean now I got the IP from the VLAN 30 I go to some website it's working fine from VLAN 30 also so my internet service is okay now I'm going to remove this cable and close it now I'm going to connect my PC via Wi-Fi here is it I configure this access point already this access point I configure already and I give the name to as per my YouTube channel Cisco config I just connect it done now my PC connected via Wi-Fi I go to Wi-Fi card this time and I will see which IP we receive open it now I got the IP from VLAN 20 10.10.20.4 so it's a proof our all VLANs are working fine and we have the internet service from the each VLAN now I go to browse from VLAN 20 that's it another thing I want to see the root of the traffic what is taking so for that I will go to the command prompt I will put a command trace root in my PC T R A C E R T trace root. I will give any website like www.bbc.com. Enter. Now here we can see the root of the traffic. What it taking? So here you can see the traffic root. I trace root the bbc.com and you can see the packet is going to my VLAN 20 gateway 10.10.20.1 and then it forward to my router gateway what we configure as 192.168.100.1 that router fast ethernet 0 slash 1 port and then this traffic pass to my ISP router on my fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port 192.168.1.1 and then it go to my ISP so this is the traffic route it will take and our all VLANs are okay and our router and switch configurations are fine like this you can configure at your home or your office internet as per your VLANs or as per your IP scheme you can use any IP scheme but the commands are same and you can configure your office or home internet easily on Cisco router and you can use it thank you for watching my video i hope so you like it so please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel i am waiting for your comments for next video